Hi guys, it's Anne. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna do something a little bit different. I'm not gonna do bullet journaling. I am gonna walk you through step by step how I created the flamingo for my February cover page. So starting off with the materials that I've been using to create this video. I have my mixed media sketch pad. I am using a mechanical pencil, an eraser, a fine liner. I am using the Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen in the size F, a ruler, and my watercolor brush pens, which I got off of wish.com. I will post a link in the description box. So I am starting off with just measuring out the center of my page so I kind of have a reference point of where I place my flamingo. Then from there I start sketching out a very rough draft of how I want the flamingo to look. I am starting off with one leg and then the body, adding in the wing and then I start working on the neck and the head. I go over this multiple times and refining the sketch as I go. I'm also adding in a bent leg and as I did this I realized that the first leg needs to be quite a bit taller and I also wanted a sharper angle on the leg that is bent. Once you're happy with your sketch you just add in these random lines going from one point to another, just straight lines making random patterns. And once you're happy with what you got, you just take your fine liner and you start inking. And the inking process is kind of where you finalize your product. So as you've seen, I've refined the sketch as I go and I'm still kind of refining it when I go over it with my fine liners because I'm not sticking exactly to what I drew earlier. I make minor adjustments just so that I get the look that I'm after. Once you're done with your inking, make sure that your fine liner is dry before you start erasing so you don't smudge anything. And then it's time for some color. So I start off with a gray watercolor brush pen and I do this kind of gradient effect on the beak. Then I start with the body and I start off kind of just doing a base of this light pink color. I do this in sections just alternating between my watercolor brush pen and the clear water brush just to make sure that the color doesn't dry before I have a chance to blend it. Once I have a solid pink color I want to make this a little bit more interesting to look at and add some variety. So with a magenta color I just do random highlights on different edges and parts of the flamingo. So I make some parts of the flamingo really dark, I make some parts very bright. I have no regard for lighting and stuff like that when I do this. I'm just trying to make something that's interesting and kind of adding some dimension to the painting. To finish this off I go over the beak again with the same grey colour just to kind of bring up the intensity a little bit and darken it. And once I am happy with the result I take my ruler and I go over the flamingo's legs one more time just to kind of bring up the thickness a little bit because they were looking a little, a little too weak. And that is actually the finished flamingo. I would have stopped the video here but I wanted to do something a little bit more interesting and intricate so I added in these triangles behind the flamingo and I colored these in with my grey watercolor brush pen and I made it so that towards the center of the image it's a lighter color and as it goes towards the edge it kind of fades into this darker gray color. Once that's dry I just went over with my eraser once again and I was a little bit impatient so I kind of shaved a tiny bit of the color off but that's okay. And 
again being impatient and rushing it i accidentally just drew a line straight through my flamingo which was not part of the plan at all and it bothered me so much that i'm actually gonna go in and fix it like in a little bit and once i've done that i decided to do some kind of paint splatter so i pretty much just wet my brush and i tap the brush against my fingers just to make the splatter effect on the paper to fix the mistake with the line going straight through the flamingo i could use whiteout or something like that but i'm not sure how my watercolor brush pens are gonna mix on top of that and i think it's gonna be very apparent that you've used whiteout or whiteout tape to cover something up because the shade would not be the same so what i did was i just took a separate piece of paper i put it on top of my flamingo and i cut out the shape that i needed then I took my tape runner and I kind of tore my paper a little bit. <laughs> but anyways, I stuck that on there just to cover up that line. Once I have the paper on there, I took my fine liner and I added in all of the little lines that makes this flamingo geometric. Once I'm happy with the line work, I go in and do the exact same thing with the watercolors as I did before. And at this point, I also decided something was missing, so I took a blue watercolor brush pen and I just splattered that everywhere. And this is the finished result of my geometric flamingo drawing slash painting. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, don't forget to click that subscribe button. I post new videos every Saturday. Thank you for watching and happy painting.